time. Yay. <laughs> I bet you thought we were monks. Indeed, <laughs> we are not. We're actually just reaching down. Yes, and we're here in Calendar. Today we're here for Lindor's Alley because it is released today. Their first ever whiskey. Very exciting. I was going to say, I don't know if people have seen us very often in the same room. No, probably so not. We do actually. Hey, we are really in the same room. 1494, that's the right date, isn't it? It's in Roman numerals. <laughs> I think it's 1494 or 1484. That's, that's a four. It's either eight or nine. I think it's 94 or 1484. DX, what? 1494, so this brings like, whiskey back to what is kind of spiritual home in the history books in Scotland. Yes, the first recorded making of malt whiskey in Scotland, in Lindros Abbey in 1494. Um, and so that's why we were being monks, because it is an abbey, and that at the monks were making the whiskey. Yep, yep. And that time then, there was obviously other people making whiskey, but it's our first documented thing of they were definitely making whiskey here. Whiskey then would be very different to a whiskey now, so it would have been unmatured and likely very rough. And probably, as we think from the Lindros Abbey Aqua Vitae that they've been making, flavoured um, and made palatable with herbs and spices from the Abbey Garden. Sacrilege! Yes. yes. <laughs> Whiskey cocktails have been a thing for hundreds of yes, years. Yes, we have. <laughs> um, so this one here, then it is bourbon, uh, sherry and wine cask. Yes, I had a member that. Yeah, cool. Um, so the three of it. So, yeah. Should I try mm. it? Try some. So just over three years old, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. So they've released two different bottles, kind of. Um, it's all the same liquid that's in both. Mm -hmm. um, but they've got a commemorative release. And the only little difference is that it says in lovely gold or copper mm -hmm. writing on the side, commemorative first release. And, this one doesn't um, and that one's just plain. So yeah, they, what they, they're thinking behind that was that they want you to open them and drink them which I think is a very good idea. That's what it's made for. I love that, because that means then for their first release, it's not some fancy, well, it will be for their very, very first founder's release, but for this general consumption one, it means there's not going to be a load of first release bottles that are never opened and they've yeah, enjoyed the way yeah, they're made to all be. all enjoyed. So that's awesome. So even if you buy a commemorative one and you don't to open it, if you buy one of these ones, you can still taste the same thing. So that's cool. That's really cool. Um, so smell, mm. and they're from Fife. It's Fife. Yes, it's a new Britain Fife. Um, using five barley as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, you should go visit. It's amazing. I've been for a tour there um, before COVID and things. And yeah, it was really, really cool. Amazing building. Amazing abbey gardens and really, really cool history. Um, so yeah, everyone should definitely take a visit there. Um, mm, really malty. Really malty. Yeah, like quite nice. citrusy. They get quite, like it smells quite fiery to me a little bit. And I got more, I'm not getting much citrus now, and then I was getting more kind of pear drops in the smell, and more apricot, but now it smells more, yeah. like you were saying about honey, I'm definitely getting more Dried of apricot, though. Yeah. And honey. Yeah. And quite quincy. Quincy? Quite quincy. Quincy, that's a wee bit quincy. <laughs> I like that's a good adjective, you're a bit, feeling a bit quincy, <laughs> you do. I like that as well, because quincy feels undecided, it doesn't know if it's an apple it's or a beer. It's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit quincy. A bit quincy. <laughs> Um, mm. and a wee floral, isn't you? That's definitely got a thicker mouthfeel to it than I thought I did the other night. That feels like syrupier. Yep, definitely syrupy and definitely quincy. Again, I get quincy. like an orange, a kind of an orange citrus mm. Mm -hmm. from it. And quite, it's got quite a peppery finish. It's got a wee, wee hint of like blue cloudy, classic cloudy about it, but no coastal stuff, just like the citrus, malty, cereally flavours you get from that Yeah, one. I know what you mean. It's much, I find it's much, much like simpler than that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's got that like tang. It's tangy, yeah, that's what I mean. It's that's quite a wee bit of melony. Mm. Melony. Melon. Mel. Melon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Meloner. <laughs> um, you, like a kind of toasted. Mm -hmm, Toasted mm -hmm. malt or something? It was some water. That's always a good idea. Do you want me to add one? Yeah, yeah. fire in. I trust you. Oh, it's too much! No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I hate that when people are like, so just add however much so water you'd like. I'm like, just, 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 you'll tell me it's wrong, just yeah. add your own yeah. water. <laughs> um, 
I love not that that's a reason to buy a whiskey, but I do really like the bottle here. The bottle's cool. The bottle's funky, and it's in the same bottle that our aqua vitae they were making. Yeah, I love the bottle. Unmatured spicy whiskey. That's much more pear drops now. Much more pear drops. Yeah. Um, and like actual pear skins. Yes, definitely. Mm. Dead fruity. Mm. Um, but much more orchard fruit. No raisins. No raisins. Not even a scraping of a raisin. Scraping. Sometimes you have a scraping of a raisin. A, a wee bit of, oh, maybe a wee bit of the cotton candy grapes you get. Maybe a wee bit I'm of that. I'm not getting that at all. Are you not? I'm getting more cotton, like, really mega, mega sweet. Um, but yeah, I really, I actually, the more I'm tasting it, the more I'm liking that, like, heat at the back. Yep, definitely. Mm. definitely. It has, like, a flatness, so it's quite pleasant. A relaxing flatness. Mine is like it's not flat; it's more like that. Is it? Yeah, yeah. I don't know how to describe well, how other way to describe that, but yeah, it's kind of it's like flat at the front, and then the further it goes to the back of your tongue, it's like. <laughs> I feel like the total opposite. I feel like it's my tongue; it's all like woo, woo, woo and then you're like flat, just like. Oh, down the road, that's so weird. I wonder on. if we just visualize things the opposite, yeah, or if we, our, so. our palates are actually experiencing different things. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Um, and they're independent as well. Yeah, 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 that's cool. Yeah. You should buy some, we've got some. We should buy yeah, it. yeah, it was not super limited, their first release, which is really cool. So yep. there's like some available for everyone. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Yes, thank um, you. Very and nice. like and subscribe and join us for more videos. Thank you. Slange. Slange. Wormy Hill! Wormy Hill! <laughs>